Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As you see, I have a bunch of pins here. Before we get into this, we need to shout out them Patreons and see what we're doing. get into this video you guys today we are doing something a little bit different in my live stream on Saturday night which is the night I'm recording this because you know it's midnight I can't sleep whatever I said something about would you guys like to see a stash video of all of my pins and crafting with Christy who was I was live with said heck yeah let's see it so we decided to make it a challenge so me and crafting with Christy are challenging all creators on YouTube to show us your DP pin stash. Use hashtag DP pins, DP pin stash. Sorry, brain fart. So let's get into it and let's see where all these pins come from. Let's see if I can remember. I'm pretty sure I can. Okay, so first off. Alright, I brought you guys down into the picture. We'll see what we got. Oh, yes. I'm trying to line up paint pins with where pins go and who I got them from and all of that goodness. Alright, I think that's an order. That's an order. That's that, that, that. Okay, so... I'm going to start from the right-hand side over here, and we're going to work our way to the left-hand side. So, first off, we have Tiny Pufferfish. She has an Etsy shop. I will link it down below. She makes pins out of these rubber bands. I love these rubber band pins. I've had this one for quite some time now. She's a college student. Go support her. This pin and this pin... And this pin all come to us from the fabulous and the number one enabler for me, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Thank you, sister. Love my pins. Yes, I still have them. That was way back, like almost two years ago when she was making pins. So don't go bugging her for a pin because she don't make them no more. And then this one here comes from uh, um, Sweet Karen, KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pins. Where are you, Karen? We miss you. A paracord DP pin. I have a paracord writing pin to match this. This as well comes from Tiny Pufferfish. She has multiple different kind of pins. Oh my god, look at that diamond. Yes. Okay. This, this, and this. And I think there was one more, but... I can't remember, but these were sent to me from Creative Grammy here on YouTube. She just asked me if she can send me some goodies. I said, sure, send them on over. So we got this cute little bear. It's got a single placer. And they're actually really cool because they all have caps for them. And last but not least, but um, thank you, Creative Grammy. And these two pins come to us from none. Oh, wait, this one doesn't come from there. This comes from, from KK. This comes from KK's unique diamond painting pins. Unfortunately, KK has disappeared. We need to send a, a milk carton warning out to everybody. Where is KK? Okay, anyways, so squirrel. Uh, this one comes to us from our own crafting with Crashly. Yes, isn't that pin just absolutely everything? Oh, this is the other pin I meant to grab. Both of these come from Crashly. My sister from another mister. Oh, yeah, this one's got gold flake in it. Mm, let's see. There you go. It's got green and red. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This one here comes to us from... Uh, I think this is uh, either Tiny Pufferfish... I think this was Tiny Puffer Fish. I won this in a giveaway, Tiny Puffer Fish. Um, this one, this one, and this one came to us from 
Purple Door Crafts. She sent me a goodie bags. They are two placers. They actually are really cool. I've used these a couple of times. I actually like them. If I'm working on a square and I want to take my time. This one comes from me. I made it. <laughs> this one comes from Handmade Mom on Etsy. Isn't that just absolutely cute? Purple Door Crafts, Sister Sherry, sent this to me. It's a spit image of Trapper Do. Yes. Okay, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. I'll have to move these down over here because this is one over here. I'll move those right there so I can keep in order. Acrylics over there and other stuff over here. So this one. Oh, this one. This one here also comes from Handmade Month on Etsy from Purple Girl Crafts. Squirrel! Okay. This one here, I believe Yvonne bought this for me. And she got me the hammer, too. Yeah, cute. Like a horsey. A little horsey? Yeah. Anyways, okay, move it on. This is a Star Ore. As you see, it says Star Ore. Star Ore. It is a rooster. Yeah, I'm a little wired right now. It's not only midnight, but I'm wired. This is a very, very special pin to me. It came from my number one enabler, Mrs. Coffee. Um, this was also made by KK's Unique Diamond Painted Pens. It's a 50 cal bullet. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorites. Okay, these here come to us from a Diamond Art Club. No, 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 no. These two, these two come from Diamond Art Club. These two come to us from Diamond Painting with Donnie here on YouTube. She has a Etsy store, um... The hell's her drill pin frenzy? That's where her Etsy shop is. Drill pin frenzy. And then these two I got from Diamond Art Club. This one has the famous Diamond Art Club name engraved into it. And then this one is one I got that they came out with like the second verse of pins. I got it. It goes. It goes with a painting and has a theory behind it. Um, this one I got from a uh, Caro. Crafts from Canada. Isn't that just absolutely freaking gorgeous? And this one I got from Sister Tia's Crazy Craft Addiction. She sent it to me for a Christmas present last year. And this comes to us from Sadie's Hand Turned Down Painting Pens. It's got a Lexi Lily Crafts, uh, I believe this is five or a six placer. It's got the curved, t curved, yes, I know, I know. <gasps> oh. Okay, now we're getting into the good stuff. Okay, so this comes to us from the patriotic team, Redneck Beauty. Patriotic Beauty, whatever you would like to call her. This is the TSA pin that was given away in some of the giveaways that TSA had during Pink Friday. Yeah, yeah. This was my newest edition from the patriotic team pin. Oh, stay over there. Don't move. Patriotic team pins. It is a large mouth bass. It's got the yellow on the bottom, green on top. Oh, yeah. This also comes to us from Patriotic Beauty. Isn't that... I think it was called Cobalt Blue. Ooh, doggy. Um, that one's not from red. These ones are from red. So, I'm going to go like that. This one, I don't remember the name of it. It was something green, and I seen it, and I was like, oh my god, that is gorgeous. And I like how small it is, because when my when my knuckle is hurting, I can diamond paint with just those two fingers, and just kind of let that one sit straight. So, Patriotic Team, again! It's like my biggest addiction is from Patriotic Pens. Um, this one, oh my god, is that just not stunning? Patriotic Beauty Pins once again. Oh, my lanta. And this one, I think this one is one of my favorite. It is absolutely just breathtakingly beautiful. Another pin from the Patriotic Team. 
You can find these at redneckbeauty.com. I will have that link in the description box below. This one here is, last but not least, my very, very favorite pen from Red. Patriotic Beauty, Redneck Beauty, whatever you want to call her. This one has sentimental value to me. This one's name is Vicky. This one is named after my mom. On uh, October 17th, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Day, my mom passed away 20 years ago. And this year I wanted to get a pin to contribute or to show honor to her. So I asked Red for some pin choices and she sent me pictures. This one, to me, for some reason, the wood inside of it looked like carnation flowers. And my mom was a huge carnation lover. So I seen that and I was like, yes, please. This one here comes to us from, what is the name of this one? Oh, yeah, Harps. Harps Custom Designs on Etsy. Is that just not gorgeous teal color and it's got a wood bottom? Mm-hmm. Okay, these last four come to us from... My sister and brother over at Enablers Outpost, I absolutely love, 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 love. So this pin, nah, I can't say this pin's my favorite. Some of these don't have multi-placers on them because I go through so many multi-placers. When they start wearing out, I take them off the pins and I go to a different pin that has a different multi-placer on it. So this was the first one I got from... Elizabeth and Edward. I absolutely love it. It is thicker than a snicker. It is comfortable in that hand. And it glows in the dark. I know, right? Okay, so I'm going to turn the light off real quick. <laughs> yeah! Is that not badass? When they first said they were making an Etsy store and they were talking about pins and stuff and I was like oh, I want one can I call dibs right now and that one they sent to me and I also went and purchased this one which I just broke the four placer in so this one is my pot leaf pin from enablers outpost absolutely love it I think this is actually my favorite pin out of all of my pins this is a pen that I go to all the time because it doesn't hurt my hand because it's so small and it just fits perfectly. Love, love, love it. And then I bought this pen, which I was going for a camouflage looking pen. And this looks like camouflage. It has some greens in it. It's made out of wood. And then Brother Edward had to one up it and he sent me this masterpiece of a stunning pin o m g it's got greens and yellows and teal browns omg it's thicker than a snicker i absolutely love it i love it i love it and then the last very 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 last pin comes to us from kk's unique diamond painting pins it's got its own little holder and it is trapper Dew. i don't use him much because i'm afraid he's going to break although karen has told me that it shouldn't break because it is porcelain but, you know, porcelain can break. So it is a single placer Labrador Retriever. And he sits in his little house like so. Is that just not freaking cute or what? So that is my pin collection. If you are wondering how many pins are here... Let's see. Hmm. I counted earlier. I can't remember what the number was. Oh, 42. 
42 diamond painting pins in two years. Actually, August will be three, so um, we're, we're, we're not far from our August. Well, we're about eight months from August. Seven and a half months from August, so August will be two, three years, sorry. Three years. So, in that amount of time, I have collected this many pins, and I could just imagine what else I can collect. Enablers Outpost and Patriotic Beauty pins are like an addiction. I'm always stuck in their shop. I'm always looking for my next pin to buy. This one right here, though, this is like my go-to pin all the time. Absolutely love it. So, anyways, don't forget, if you are taking part, whoa, thicker. You gotta stay here thicker than a snicker. You have to use hashtag DP pin stash when you post your video and when you share it to Instagrams, use the same hashtag. So I challenge all of my creator friends and I'll give you guys, ah, uh, let's do 15 days. You guys have a 15 day challenge and I'll put them all into a, uh, uh, yeah, what's that thing called? Playlist, yeah. I'll put them all into a playlist, and I'll share them out there so everybody can go watch them. So, and also, please message me when you put your video up so I know. And, uh, I think Crafting with Christy will probably be taking place in this, because she, uh, has a challenge, and I told her if I'm making a video, she's gonna make a video, so... Yeah, buddy. And I already know a couple other people that are making the video, so yay. So, as always, don't forget to have peace. Oh, peace. Love and respect for all. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you know when I post. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.